What is this? Hey, what's the deal, man? You think you're gonna be able to pick it up? Lizard, I need that money! Tables are expensive! Hi! What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and today we're gonna have some fun with this little guy. This is a Thor replica hammer. I got this from the dudebag.com. Weighs about 15 to 20 pounds and it is stout. Today we're gonna see if we can make it through it with some 50 BMG slap rounds and a few other 50 BMG rounds. But before we do that, let's smash some stuff. The power of Grayskull! Calabunga, dude! <laughs> Nasty red cabbage. Next, I say we smash a few eggplants. Because nobody likes eggplants! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, would you look at that? You'll never guess what time it is. Tis yet another time! Well, now, lastly, the table test. little system. This table is worthy. Oh, I spoke too soon. Still waiting for that table sponsor. All right, so I've got the Thor hammer set up down here at the very bottom of my berm and I have it at a slight angle that way. So if we were to have a ricochet, it's not gonna come back and hit me. Now let's scoot back and see how tough this hammer really is. So today I'm gonna to be using the Serbu RN50 with the 36 inch heavy barrel. And this is the round we're gonna start out with. This is a 50 BMG slap tracer. These things are really hard to find. They're over $100 a piece and I only have three of these left. So I really hope we can hit this on the first try. But before we do, I wanna say thank you to Sonoran Desert Institute for sponsoring today's video. Sonoran Desert Institute is a huge supporter of the channel and I really appreciate them a lot. They have a ton of firearms technology online classes. If you're interested in gunsmith, or any other firearms career, you need to check them out. There's a link in the description down below. Again, a huge thank you to SDI for sponsoring today's video and supporting Kentucky Ballistics as a whole. You may notice that I don't have a table to shoot off of, and that's because I wasn't thinking and destroyed our last table. So this is gonna have to do. The last time I shot these slap rounds, I was aiming dead center and the round was pulling to the right. So this time, I'm gonna go ahead and aim to the left, and hopefully we hit this thing on the first try. Whoa! rounds oh I did not want to waste one of those let's go check that out I think we just hit the right side our handles missing oh our handles down in that nasty water I really don't want to touch all this it's a chunk of hammer <laughs> so it looks like our handle broke that just broke completely off from the force and then this was setting like this. I was aiming over here and it looks like we hit in this area right there. Yeah, we hit right there, you can see. <laughs> and it made it pretty far into that. I mean, it went all the way down here 
and then it looks like it kind of came out the bottom. All right, well now let's set it back up and hit it with something else. So next we're gonna hit it with another expensive exotic round. This is a Ralphus round, a silver green tip 50 BMG. I only have one of these today, so I really hope we hit it. I gotta get another table because this isn't working out too well. <laughs> I have to admit, I was a little more nervous about that one than the slap round because I had two more tries with the slap round. I only brought one Ralphus round, so I'm glad we hit it. Oh. We barely hit it. <laughs> so the round came in this way because I kind of had it angled pointing that way. We hit it and really didn't do a whole lot to the Thor hammer, but you can see this whole side is black where it just ignited and burned that whole side, but kind of surprised at the damage or lack thereof. Next, we're gonna hit the Thor hammer with an armor piercing incendiary tracer, a 50 BMG silver red tip. Caught it that time. This is so gross. Oh yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> so it looks like the armor piercing incendiary tracer has done the most damage to the Thor hammer. We hit right there. It zipped right through the edge of that thing. I'm gonna set it up and hit it one more time. Okay, well, that thing went spinning that time right into this lovely water. Oh, so that time we had a really good hit. The Thor hammer went spinning and landed in the water. And you can see that that armor piercing incendiary tracer, man, it just ate through that hammer. That is absolutely ridiculous. There's one more round I wanna hit the Thor hammer with, and it's a blue tip, pure incendiary round. The blue is kind of wore off on this one, but it is a blue tip 50 BMG. Golly, ah, I can't get my earplugs out. I need some needle nose pliers. Ah. So we had been shooting this side, so I flipped it over to this side again. Looks like we hit right there with the incendiary and it didn't do a whole lot to that thing. Those pure incendiaries, they make a really big flash, but they don't really seem to do much to anything. This thing is broken, but you could totally still use it. Ugh. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I only have two slap rounds left. What would you like to see me use them on? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. A big thank you to the dude bag for sending over the hammer. Turned out to be pretty tough. The handle, not so much, but the actual hammer part, it took quite a bit of punishment. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure and check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing as well. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.